Father Raphael, you are needed here at the altar. Please, Father Raphael Lobere. Father Raphael Lobere, you are urgently needed here. Father Raphael Lobere, you are urgently needed here. Please, choir, can you intone the national anthem? The procession, the liturgical procession is about to start. So please, choir. Please, we are singing the Ugandan National Anthem. Please stand up. Thank you very much. Now the procession is about to begin. Gaon Ngasuban Ozbagnos.
the bishops have just arrived from the airport. Maybe we'll get seated a bit. They are still taking a cup of tea. And then they shall arrive. Let's get seated. The choir can go on. Let us sit a bit and wait. The bishops have just arrived from the airfield. And they are still taking a cup of tea. The priests, don't worry, we are adding more chairs. Bring those chairs up this way. Yao Tunki Chaloka Hulula, Allah. Some announcement you will bear with us. We are still waiting uh, for the arrival of some bishops. They are coming by flight, so there was some delay. But we shall start soon. They have already arrived. They are in the bishop's house taking cup of tea. Yes, yes, yes. Just within the five minutes, they will be with us. But the choir can inspire us by their songs. They are songs and our songs.
Those taking readings in the Luo, in the Karamojong, in the Arabic, please you stay around. And make sure you access the readings of the Mass early enough. Much dancers for enduring the heat. Come on. 
An update, you have seen somebody consulting with me. Let us be patient a bit. The plane arrived a bit late, but uh, the bishops are arriving soon. Choir, continue. And then the archers, please manage the movement here. Nobody is allowed to cross this tent. The ushers, please don't allow anybody to cross this tent. We are beginning at 11. Those asking for the book to be carried in the procession, please report to the vestry, to the place where the bishops are vesting, and cross-check from there. I'm 
places of uh, convenience, or although some people say places of inconvenience, look at uh, the corners there, and also there are some facilities for the primary school on the other side. At least I have seen one facility there, the rest are on the other side. Dia menuan di kengarak nol, kalau dia tengah kelas saya kama. Raja kerja akhirnya boleh repera. Ni kengarak nere iya ma. Some people wanted to bring their gifts already. No, we have the time allotted for that. Organize your gifts and bring at the time allotted. Also, those who are speaking, you revise your speeches since we are late by one hour. By three, the bishops have to leave by play. So let us revise the speeches. And if possible, we use only adjectives to describe what you want to describe. Oh, <laughs> 
The ushers and the members of the protocol committee. One of the members of the protocol committee, please come to the stand. One of the ushers. The dancers, the dancers, you make about turn. The procession is about to begin. The dancers, you go back. The priest, you can stay where you are. Only the dancers. The dancers, you go to the gate. announcement from Nira. Please listen. The National Identification and Registration uh, Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development are conducting an exercise to register all Older persons above 80 years of age within Karamoja sub region. During the exercise, following, the following will be, will be registered. registered. Those, those who have never been registered, those with the wrong particulars on their IDs, those who have lost or damaged their IDs. Registration will be conducted in different parishes and villages across all districts. The exercise will start on the 16th of January 2023. 
Kwere abu tono meala kai, kwere toko kwarai. Eya imo ya kigiro, tori ya munere ngati kito kwere ya idi zunguna ketet. Rango tomo bula nera ngulu gire te badu nene. Ngulu ngon nyigirito nge chororwa mamuka tare idi zi. Ngulu ngon payo kino nge chororwa kwa denkaru ana idi kech. Ngulu ngon na chaka nazi ako kwa nari. Kwere ya nyama ngicholubei idi zi. Ikezi girio Ngiru elap Ngito monang kani kapei Elap lo kepei lo Ekaruda logo Alakara making videos please you consult the team that is charged also because the head of state the vice president is around so please you do with a protocol committee you consult if you want to take photos on this side and even at the altar don't crowd to take photos you consult Blue era meten el pichai. La máquina aquí en el cuatro de que en la capa de la era de la máquina el pichai a negue. Y ahí el tío me lo deja de un tal o la era de la máquina el pichai. A negue chamete yo a que rame el pichai la rama de mi alana me da lo diete. Where you are seated you take your photos. The procession has started please Tonyo utu, tonyo utu, agao ni ngasuban.
Brothers and sisters, <coughs> all protocols, protocol observed, I'm glad to welcome you to this celebration. As Father Daniel mentioned, we are witnessing what the Holy Spirit is going to do. We are not having a human celebration. We are going to have a spiritual event when the God the Father is sending the Holy Spirit upon a chosen man, Bishop-elect Dominic Eibu, to anoint him as a shepherd of our people. We are witnessing something that happened of old when King David was anointed, when Aaron was anointed, when prophets were anointed. We are witnesses God in action today. And what is remarkable is that God does not ask us to be perfect. Moses knew that he was a poor man. I am not able to speak. David was a child. 
the Maya said, uh, I can't do anything. To allow God to do great things. God is doing great things because we are weak. And so I invite all of you to enter this celebration with great trust and confidence in the Lord who is here. God is everywhere, but today is here in a special way. And I hope we are able to see the Holy Spirit come down and say to us, this is my beloved. sisters that I, I have greatly sinned in my in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault and therefore I ask the blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and the saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray to the Lord our God May God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, who out of the abundance of your untold grace alone chose to set your servant and priest, Father Dominic Ebu, over your church of Cotido on this day, grant that he may carry out worthily the office of bishop and under your governance in all things, he may direct by word and example the people entrusted to his care through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. We are reminding the readers to come here. The first reading will be taken in English and in the law. Please, readers, come forward. First reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah 61, 1 to 3. They will be called Oaks of Righteousness. The Spirit of joy instead of mourning. And of the Lord for the display of his splendor, the word of the Lord. Kwanwa Mechel Rod Uwira kede mo alen. Enu ora meter lok mekwa bebe. Chuna ero kerewa chel. Chaketi ya chel na kiyade. Tipa ro tu ba tiye bora. Bien ro ro uwira kede mo. Uwira bebe alen. Enu ora meter ero. Cheng maruwa tuba bichu lo kere kuwa. Kere kuwa yu chunjo mesi yon. Meme yu lalukana medeo bangjo maruwa. Mawir me yom chun meka kumo. Ruk mepa kuba.
second readers of the second reading please come It will be read in Arabic. I don't know how many of you speak Arabic here, but today you will hear Arabic. Huwa al-lazi ashraqa fi qulubina. Al-qira'atu al-thaniya. Qira'a min risalat al-qaddis bolis al-rasul ila ahli korunthos. Al-yuhat akwa. من أجل ذلك إذ لنا هذه الخدمة كما رحمنا لا نفشل بل شينا كلمة الله بل بإظهار الحق مادحين أنفسنا لدى ضمير كل إنسان قدام الله بل فإننا لسنا نكرز بأنفسنا بل بالمسيح يسوع ربا ولكن بأنفسنا عبيدا لكم من أجل يسوع معرفة مجد الله في وجه يسوع المسيح ولكن لنا هذا الكنز إن كلام الرب Second reading A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthian since we have been handhacked of mercy, been entrusted with the work of administration. To every human being with a conscience is stating the truth openly in the sight of God. For it is not ourselves that we are preaching, but Christ Jesus has the Lord, and ourselves has your servants for the sake. It is the same God that said, let there be light shining out of darkness, who has shone in our minds to radiate the light of the knowledge of God's glory. The glory on the face of Christ. We are only the heart voyagers that hold his treasure. To make it clear that such an overwhelming power comes from God and not from us. The word of God. Let us turn now for the gospel uh, acclamation. Please choir. Don't sing all the verses. Sing a few verses.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 15, verse 9 to 17. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have been This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater, the, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Doing, but I have called you friends for all that I have heard from my father. I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. So that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you. Love one another. Akamina yong yes, ikwangena akamina rayong papa kang. Kilo na mina kang. Ani kiri chakis yes magjeta kang. Idongete na mina kang. Ikwangena er chakis yong magjeta apapa kang. Idong itori na mina keng. Adawa yong alimuni ngun, magrongun. Ikotere alili anu kang ijakunne ni kuzijik. Ka ikotere alele anukuz ilele bikin. Aka gijiket ingezina tominini maket. Ikuwa ngana kamenare ayongo yes. In epol akilonge na ejeli ayetunganan ake ikiyara. Anguna ngikone iken. Ila yes ngikone ikan. Era ikiti yata nguna eka chika kini ayong yes. Nyeri nga ayong akanyareti yes ngiketi ya. Ania rai, nyeri ngiketi ya ni nguna iti ya eka polo ni keng. Na ito kona akanyara ayong yes ngikonei. Ania rai, akalimoka ayong yes nguna dadang eira ayong anini apapakang. Nyese una yes ayong na i Akaseu ayong yes, ka akatia kwa yong yes. Toloto tarama na ito una alalak, nguna nye daun. Yuko tere na ingi ni bore dadang, ingi sete yes, alokro kang, iki ina kini. Eka chika kini ayong yes eno, kominini make, akroto ke eka polon. Let us remain standing. The ordination process, the process is the beginning. There will be seven chairs prepared in that tent for 
the five consecrating bishops and the bishop elect and the two priests assisting him. Please, those who are uh, organizing, organize, take the chairs there. The bishops will go there. The five bishops are the principal consecrator is the most reverend Emmanuel Obo, Archbishop of Tororo. The second co consecrator is His Grace Luigi Bianco, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. The third consecrator is the Right Reverend Joseph Filippi, Bishop Emeritus. The fourth one is the Most Reverend John Baptist Odama, the Metropolitan Taji Bishop of the Diocese of Gulu. And the third one, the young one who just came, uh, our Ochenio, is the Right Reverend uh, Joseph Echiru Oliachi, the Bishop of Tororo, of Soroti. Of Soroti. Who knows, maybe after a couple of hundred times, it's the spirit speaking. <laughs> And the two priests who are assisting our bishop elect are very reverend Monsignor Philip Lokel, the former vicar general of Cotido, and the provincial superior of the Comboni missionaries, uh, Father Kibira Anthony. They will be assisting. While they, they are coming here, a song to the Holy Spirit will be about the Holy Spirit will be in tone. Normally it is a vain creator, but you can sing a local song.
It is time to call the candidate and uh, the one calling will be Bishop Joseph Felipe. We are inviting him on behalf of our church to do the calling. Most Reverend Father, the Church of Cotido requests that you ordain the priest, Father Dominic Abu, for the office of bishop. Avia mandate from the Apostolic See. We, ha we have it. Let it be read. The Apostolic Nuncio is going to read the mandate from the Holy Father and after it will be shown to the consultants and all the people around. He has already shown to the bishops. Franciscus Episcopus Servus Servorum Dei. Diletto Figlio Dominico Eibu, Congregationis Missionariorum Combonariorum Cordis Jesus Odali, Actenus Curioni Parrice Sacri Cordis Jesu Cairi, Atque Vicario Provinciali Egipti Sudanie, Dicte Congregationis Episcopo Nominato Coti. Salutem et benedictionem. Christianum fedus, multo magis quam antiquum pactum se aperte demonstrat nos servitude, nos timore inixum set amicitia illa sancitum que inter patrem et filios intercedat oportet. Ac de necessitudine amoris inter deum et homines Ecclesia Catholica enixe predicat per salvificum ministerium episcoporum et quam obrem gravis est responsabilitas romani pontificis vacantibus episcopalibus sedibus aptos pastores destinare. Propterea nunc mentem nostram ad comunitatem coti densem dirigimus, que post renunciationem venerabilis fratris Iosefi Filippi, 
vacat. Ipsique festinamus novum presulem prepicere. Ideo de te cogitamus dilecte fili qui recta vita agendarum rerum peritia viva fide ac missionali spiritu emines quique hoc magni momenti ministerium com committere statuimus a itaque ponderato consiglio di casteri pro evangelizzazione apostolica nostra potestate episcopu ac statuimus Cumptis datis iuribus et impositis obligationibus ad officium spectantibus secundum codice iuris canonici. Ordinazionem episcopale ubique extra roman a catolico episcopo a cipere poteris servatis liturgicis normis sed antean Ux lex ecclesiastica prescribit, tua est fidei professio rite nun cupanda, atque ius iurandum fidelitatis erganos nostroque ac in sede successores prestandum. Is de literis clerum populunque comunitatis tibi concredite certiores faces. Quos invitamus ad estimazionem, dilezionem, ac diligentem cooperazionem cum novo pastore. Te, denique, et grecem tuum, tuto patrocinio, domini nostre, beate Marie Virginis, videnter committimus, ut in scola celestis matris, sanctitatem vitem, et veram felicitatem, e sacratissimo corde Iesu, aurire possitis. Datum Rome, Laterani, die vigesimo quinto, mensis octobris, anno domini, bis millesimo, vigesimo secundo, pontificatus nostri decimo. Saint Franciscus. Now it is going to be read in English. Because that was in Latin and very few of us understood. Father Philip is going to read it. From Francis Bishop, servant of God's servants. To the beloved son, Dominic Abel. Comboni missionaries, missionary of the heart of Jesus, until now parish priest of the sacred heart of Jesus Parish, and vice provincial of Egypt and Sudan of the same congregation. Elected Bishop of Cotido, greetings and apostolic blessing. Christian Alliance, much more than the old, openly show oneself based neither on slavery nor on fear, but founded in that friendship that it is necessary between the father and the sons, Pius the twelves, Aurietis Aquas. The Catholic Church strongly proclaims this relationship of love between God and humanity through the salvific ministry of the bishops, and for this reason, it is an important responsibility of the Roman pontiff to appoint worthy shepherds to the vacant episcopal sees. Therefore, now we turn our mind to the community of Cotido that is vacant after the resignation of our venerable brother Giuseppe Filippi of the Comboni missionaries. And we soon give a new bishop to the same. We turn to you, beloved son, 
who excelled for straight life, capacity in administration, vibrant faith and missionary spirit. And we decide to commit to you this very important ministry. Therefore, after consultation of the dicastery for the evangelization uh, by our apostolic authority, we appoint and establish you, Bishop of Cotido, with its due rights and correspondent duties according to the norms of the canon law. You can receive the Episcopal ordination outside Rome from any Catholic bishop following liturgical laws. But before this, according to the ecclesiastical law, you have to make the profession of faith and to swear the oath of fidelity to us and our successors. Please inform of this letter to the clergy to the clergy and the faithful of the community entrusted to you, which we invite to esteem, love, and carefully cooperate with the new shepherd. Finally, we devoutly entrust you and your flock to the safe protection of Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that you can draw from the example of the Heavenly Mother in holiness of life and through the most sacred heart of Jesus in true happiness. Given in Rome at Lateran on the 25th day of the month of October in the year of the Lord, 2022, the 10th of our pontificate, Francis Pope. Rang in a barwa, and a buntella roma, and a torun tebe, papa mala roma, and a ziaunt, merechutan, merena, itiaunt, a lacampala, and even the benasarodan and mere. Get a torun tenun seronaba, yokno. Now, what follows the bishop elect will be escorted by two priests to that tent where you will make a sign of reverence to the consecrating bishops and they will uh, instruct him on his duties. Los the one episcopi tenar tang padaranges ne ya episcopi yama ne ni tatamerenges una tapito ngite jisio keng. Let us be seated. Lozukona Episcopi Mola Rikite Mesa Akitatama Wadio Muna Etapito Agroka Kuj Kainke Tichisio My dear friends Today is a great day for and we welcome each one of you this moment. Moment of the winds, even the winds are going to get to join us in the, in the celebration. 
dear friends on behalf of the ecclesiastical ecclesiastical province of Tororo I also welcome you all to this celebration of the Episcopal Conf Consecration and installation of my dear brother Bishop, Bishop-elect, Right Reverend Dominic Abu, today as the third Bishop of the Diocese of Cotido. Today, a special day for us to be celebrated and you, this new family of the bishop, must join and celebrate together. We have come because of the little privilege or the big privilege or the many privileges that you have also invited us to this great moment to express our joy and to extend our most heartfelt congratulations to his lordship, the right Reverend Dominic Ibu, upon his elevation to the third bishop as the third bishop of the diocese by his holiness for Francis. The news of this appointment as the new Bishop of Cotido to succeed our venerable brother, the Right Reverend Joseph Filippi, whose resignation was accepted by the Holy Father, Pope Francis, brings immense joy to the hearts of all all of us. Dear brothers and sisters, it is not easy to get a new bishop. And when you get one, hey, run to grab him quickly. Some places wait for five years, even ten. But when you get one, Grab him before we take him away. Dear Bishop-elect, my brother Dominic, I would like to express our spiritual closeness to you, John, on this great occasion, as you also become the seventh Catholic bishop and the fourth Comboni missionary bishop in Karamoja sub-region since its creation as a diocese in 1965. Friends, the people of Cotido, truly a shepherd of his flock, new bishop, is a man who has been in the mission of the Comboni missionaries in all parts. That is why he spoke to us here a language which we did not even say Yalama, but we did not say anything because we do not understand. The new bishop is known to be a man of prayer and of a great humility, besides being a champion of the poor, because he's known to where he has worked, and his joyous character, which we, if we deceive you, you will see to keep, when he begins to stay with you, and the compassionate heart of a bishop This moment will allow him to enjoy 
and to work with you as a flock and the people of Kotido. Thank you, Bishop, for saying, here I am, Lord, send me. May he make you an instrument to console his people and make you sing that song. Console my people, console. I think you know it. Brother Dominic, you are going to receive the grace of Episcopate today after so many investigations and qualifications to make us and for permit us to do this right. We are here to celebrate with you the message of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord, God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly and heal the broken hearted. This seems to be your work, working policy in life. It is, looks like a description of your job in your ministry. He has anointed you. He has sent you to bring good tidings, good news to the lowly. And heal the broken hearted. Console them. For a long time already, you have been closely associated with the God's mission in your pilgrimage of life. Here in Uganda, in Sudan, in Egypt, you followed Christ who beckoned, who beckoned to you to dedicate your entire life to his mission. Now you have been chosen to feed the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you guardian in the name and the place of God and to walk at his head, at its head. You will head this flock. They will hear your voice by the way you live and follow you. As a bishop, you receive what St. Augustine uh, Ignatius of Antioch said those days that the ministry you receive is the ministry of the community and followed on all bishops to take up this seriously, the ministry of the community. So for Pope Francis tells old bishops to feel the smell of the, of the flock, of the community, of the people of God. We must feel the smell of the people of God the children of God. Pope Francis has further called on bishops to be pastors who are close to the flock and not airport bishops or bus park bishops or market bishops. Fortunately enough, we are not this side here. I can assure you, neither before nor tomorrow or today. A bishop is one whom self-denial and sacrifice is written in his blood, in his DNA. Sacrifice and self-denial. The first thing you are doing now is, and you have already done, to leave your family like Abraham. Go to different missions where your superiors 
have sent you. And today God has called you to be, to serve the people of Cotido for this purpose. The apostles, like the apostles, you are enriched. You are enriched by Christ with a special outpouring of the Holy Spirit which will make your ministry fruitful. You are to be invested with the fullness of the priesthood, a sacrament which impresses its sacred character upon you. For this we give thanks to God. We sing Magnificat with you. It is also a great joy and honor for the Christian communities of the Diocese of Cotido who receive you today as their new pastor and shepherd. We praise God with them. And we also praise God for our, our grandfather now we call him. Bishop Felipe, who has been here for all these years shepherding you, the people of Cotido. And I believe that he is, you are keeping him somewhere within here. We don't want him to go, but he's around. You as a young bishop, have been entrusted with the mission of preaching and sanctifying the people of Cotido and ever, wherever the Lord will, 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 will direct you. The conciliar constitution, Lumen Densum, Numbers from 18 to 27, and the decree of Christus Dominus, Numbers 11 to 19, remain the charter, call it even the charter mania of your ministry and my ministry and all of us on which we must often meditate. You will be responsible in the first place for this preaching of the gospel, the book of which will be laid on your head during your consecration, during the consecrating prayer, and placed on your hands that you own the gospel throughout your life. What do you do with that gospel? Dear brother Bishop, just like Anywhere in this province, people are thirsty for the gospel. People are thirsty, and they know, and they feel that that is the message of life. Give them, feed them with the gospel. To preach the gospel, you will not be alone. You will not be alone. I would like to call very strongly and kindly upon your priests of this diocese, all young men, young men and women, all religious men and women, your catechists and your lay people of goodwill to be close to you in this great mission of evangelization and continuous integral, integral human transformation of this diocese. Dear brother, like Jesus is calling upon you, love those co-workers. Let them love you and love each other, obeying the love, the, the commandment, the private and open letter. Jesus has written to you in the gospel. The gospel of that open personal letter. 
No wonder you have in your motto, console my people. You have received, you receive also the charge of sanctifying the people. Your prayer of life, your prayer life will constantly accompany people along their way of holiness. Praying for them. Propopolo is the word. Sanctify them in the truth. With the prayer and the preaching, being most important task of a bishop, be confident to receive the pastoral governance of the Catholic Diocese of Cotido. Trust God. Christ gives you the authority to exhort, to distribute ministries and services, and according to the needs of and capacities, to see to it that they are carried out for the good of the church. You rightly bear on your head an emblem of the leader and your hand another sign of the shepherd's crook. These are the signs that you will receive. Remember that your authority according to Jesus is that of the good shepherd. Be a good shepherd. I am glad that you are, you have learned that. You have learned it from far. Now you have to leave it. The good shepherd knows and loves his sheep and not take them like servants, but friends and friends forever. Dear friends, it is important that strict administration of this people of God is, is entrusted to you and it requires the prudence and wisdom of the elders. You have become an elder and very soon I believe you will be given a, a special name of an elder. It is very common with us here in Karamoja. I don't know which name the elders have already chosen to you. I also got mine. I got two but I've forgotten them. The spirit of firmness and peace is required in this moment in your life. Faithfulness to the church of which your ring is a symbol. There is going to be a ring where your faithfulness to the church and obedience to the Holy Father, the hair to the Holy Father where the authority of the church lives. And St. Peter wrote to the elders one time and he told them, tend the flock of God that is in your charge, being examples to the flock. Yes, I would like to remind you that Sometimes it is very easy to hear, but very hard to follow. Yet, this is the word of God. We must follow it. It may be something that may overwhelm you. On the contrary, it must not overwhelm you. It must not make you afraid. And Jesus said several times, do not be afraid. Every bishop, when he's being ordained, sometimes that anxiety goes away and fear takes over. But you trust in God. And that is what Jesus tells us. Trust in me. Trust in my father. 
Certainly, we all have this treasure in our earthly vessels. Christ, and trusting in God who calls you, and trusting in God who calls you to represent him, to become another Christ, you are sure of his grace. You are sure, you will be sure of his strength, and you will be sure of his peace, and you will bear the fruits, the good fruits for God in Cotido, in this place, in this land. With these responsibilities, dear brother, you will lead the agents of evangelization in this diocese to the new commandment. Teach them of brotherly love, especially the agents of evangelization, namely our dear brother priests, our dear brothers and sisters religious in this diocese, our dear uh, catechists, and all lay people of goodwill. Let them work with love, which Jesus left to us as his testimony. Love, love in practice. Like St. Paul, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. May God be glorified in you. Uh, and, and to all, I say, to all the rest of, the, rest of the people of Cotido, I say to you, to Yahiakisilnen Kusdadang. What follows now is the examination of the bishop-elect. The principal consecrator will question him on his readiness to keep the faith, his obedience to Rome, his readiness to be the good shepherd, to sustain the faith of the people, his unity with the clergy, his unity with the clergy and all the people of the diocese. So now the consecrating bishops will move to the other tent to proceed with the ordination process as we started. Episcopi <laughs> We shall be listening, it will be answering. You rate if you guess 10 out of 10 or 3, you do your own silent rating.
The Lord be with you all. Now we are, we are at the point of the promise of the elect. The ancient rule of the Holy Fathers decrees that the one to be ordained bishop should be questioned in the presence of the people concerning his resolve to guard the faith and to discharge this office. Therefore, my dear brother, Bishop-elect Dominic, do you resolve to carry out until death with the grace of the Holy Spirit the office entrusted to us by the apostles and to be passed and to be passed on to you through the laying on of our hands? I am. Do you resolve to proclaim the gospel of Christ faithfully and unfailingly? I do. Do you resolve to guard the deposit of faith pure and entire according to the according to the tradition preserved always and everywhere in the church from the time of the apostles? I do. Do you resolve to build up the body of Christ, his church, and to remain in her unity with the orders of bishops under the authority of the successor of the blessed apostle Peter? I do. Do you resolve to render obedient fa faithful obedience faithfully to the successor of the blessed apostle Peter? I do. Do you resolve as a devoted father, as a devoted father to encourage the holy people of God and to guide them in the ways of salvation together with the priests and deacons, your fellow ministers? I do. Your result for the sake of the Lord's name to reach out in kindness and mercy to the poor, to strangers, and to all those in need? I do. Do you resolve as a good shepherd to seek out the sheep who stray and to gather them into the Lord's flock? I do. Do you resolve to pray without ceasing to Almighty without reproach? I do. I do with the help of God. May God who has begun the good work in you Bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Rika kenga kenge seta radanga tedo lozuko na episcopi ngolo nyonyo ngezi akenge taka na wanda dang elipa. So ane down to read ko ki kotera elipa kena ngez elipa ngamaya tano na kebusa. Let us now pray, dear, dearly beloved, that the loving kindness of Almighty God, 
providing for the welfare of the church, will he grant to, he, to this chosen one an abundance of his grace. Let us kneel.
Let us remain kneeling. Graciously, hear our petitions, O Lord. And as you raise the horn of priestly grace over this, your servant, pour out upon him the power of your blessing through Christ our Lord. Let us turn. Now the principal consecrator will lay his hands on silence on the bishop elect. And other bishops will do so. Kona edoko kinyo abuku na evangeli na kuhu kaya episkop yang lagi tete ngaragne tangu pada rangu lu arai atingi tia bukungan the two assisting priests will be holding the book over the head of the bishop elect the principal consecrator will place the book on his head sign of uh, his ministry, the preaching of the gospel, and the teaching of the word of God. What follows is the prayer of secretion. Nizaya kuna lugu edoko kin abuku na kroka kuj na kouken. Elosu kini okona ra kelepaki ningezi kutere ngaraka kuj alote chiken.
God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, who dwell on the high and look upon the lowly, who know all things before they come to be. It is you who established order in your church through your gracious word, who from the beginning presided a predestined a righteous people born of Abraham, who instituted rulers and the priests, and did not leave this, your sanctuary without ministry, who from the beginning of the world have been pleased to be glorified in those you have chosen together. Now pour forth upon this so chosen when the power that is from you, the governing spirit, whom you gave to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, and whom he gave to, his whole, to the holy apostles who established the church in each place as your sanctuary to the glory and unfailing praise of your name. Grant our Father, knower of all hearts, that this, your servant whom you have chosen for the episcopate, may nourish your holy flock and may, without reproach, exercise before you the high priesthood, serving you night and day, that he may unceasingly cause your face to shine upon us and offer the gifts of your holy church, granted by the strength of the spirit of the high priesthood, he may have authority to forgive sins according to your command, that he may apportion offices according to your priesthood. May he be pleasing, be to, pleasing you to you in meekness and, and purity of heart, offering a sweet fragrance to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through whom glory and power and honor are yours with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, both now and forever and ever. Atupagin na peipana, aray ako walaki na kumetong na Krisma na kouken. Ewe, ninyo kinyong ngezi, kwa nakolo ninyo nyere ng ruwezi, kankadwara. Now the head of the bishop elect will be anointed with the chrism, holy chrism. May God who has made you a sharer in the high priesthood of Christ himself pour upon you the oil of mystical anointing and make you fruitful with an abundance of spiritual blessing.
we shall uh, ask the other bishops to go back to the altar. We remain only with the five consecrating bishops. Ano ko na ay doko kinyo ni kopyan dosi na ko kaya kumukere na dagay niyo yung kinyo ka kamet niya wala kinyo ka kamet. Receive the gospel and preach the word of God with all patience and sound teaching. Ayan, akin na yung evangeli, akarata ka ako yung naman nakitatam. He has received already the good news which he has to preach. Ayan, akin na yung kana, yakabobot, na yung receive the ring. Receive this ring. The seal of fidelity, and adorned with undefiled faith, preserve and blemish the bride of Christ, the Holy Church. Amen. Na kinyo ko na na kopya ng ang ipuspo pina tetel na charit araya machar ng loka pelukeng. Kaya kau ke tesikeng. Ayah nak ni musala badang. Nya pata na tesikeng episkopi. Eku guang na eku ni hari yang itu musala ba. He has also received the cross, a sign of his closeness to Christ, and a sign that his mission is not an easy one. It is like carrying the cross. Now he's going to receive the mitre, a sign that the bishop is the one who gathers. Receive this mitre and let the splendor of holiness shine in you. So that when the chief shepherd appears, you may merit to receive an unfading cross. Of glory. <laughs> now is going to receive the crosser or the staff. In the layman's language, you say a stick. Shepherds carry sticks for protection, protecting their sheep. Now receive the crozier, the sign of pastoral office, and keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has placed you as bishop to govern the church of God in the diocese of Cotido. I know it's what I am a Piscopi Kere. Aramakazina and Karekis. It don't with Napanara, Akamalakin and Akakisil. Gatakin a Piscopi and the Akisil Malaya, Yesu Christo.
आए चलो कि चलो के आलो तो लोग चलो के देख बो आलो कि चलो के Now it's going to be seated on his throne, a sign of his authority. Ah yes, but good luck to you. I told you it is going to be a good day. And I wanted to sing one song. It should be like this every day. And today, at this moment, the new bishop welcome him to this chair. At the Jangsha, please visit it. At this Jangsha, we are going to invite the priest of Kotudo to pay allegiance, you know, to show their respect that they will uh, obey him and his successors. and some representatives of the religious and the laity just to greet him to show that they are going to work with him. Yes, they will kneel in front of him and greet him. Prince of Cotido, one by one. You can sing a brief song without prolonging.
Ochaya Aquilino, you come and represent the lay people. Ochaya Aquilino and brother Ekene is here. Two sisters, you come and represent the religious. It is just because of time, each one of you could have come. of the church representative, the sisters of Mary of Kakamega, the Komboni sisters, Mary Immaculate of Gulu, the sisters of St. Joseph, those in Panyangara, the Banabikra sisters, please let us save time.
It is now time for offertory. There are special gifts that will be brought forward, but the offertory collection will be done where you are. You don't need to come in front here, but there are special gifts coming, uh, wine and uh, host plus other selected gifts. Choir, you can intone the song.
Kalakara, Kalakara, we thank you.
Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. So that what you have conferred on us, unworthy as we are, you may graciously bring to fulfillment. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, and by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but with the brother's kindness, he also chooses to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters they strive to, con to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim
You are indeed holy, o, holy o Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. We bless the Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyr, the Saint Benedict, Saint Daniel Comboni, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope.
and Dominic, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for, uh, for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleased, who are, who are pleasing to you at this, their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to you or to your kingdom. They are, they are we own the world, all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching with the are to say our Father who art in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, He takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, well, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ preserve us for life everlasting. forward to congest, the priest will come where you are. We shall send a priest to each tent.
glad that is enough. Let us have a brief moment, just brief of silence. Let us pray. Complete within us, O oh Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The bishop will give the final blessing. And the bishops who are supposed to catch up with the flight will go to invest. The five consecrating bishops will remain behind with the bishop and the rest of us for some other programs. Bow your heads for a solemn blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you as he has willed to set you as O God who cared for your people with, with gentleness and ruled them in love. Endow with the spirit of wisdom those to whom you have handled, handed on the authority to govern and that the flourishing of a holy flock may come for days and the measure of the abundance of your peace. Amen. Give a happy outcome to the tasks that through your grace you have laid upon, uh, upon me, whom you have raised the rank of bishop. Make me pleasing to you in the fulfillment of my duties. And so guide the hearts of people and pastor, that the obedience of the flock may never fail the shepherd, nor the care of the shepherd be lacking for the flock. And may the Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, glorifying the Lord by your lives. We shall uh, have a, a photo with the vice president. The bishop will, uh, will have a photo with the vice president. And then after that, the bishops will be introduced before they go away. Uh, the bishop, uh, the new bishop of Cotido, 
will go around to bless you, to bless the people. First there is the photo, then you will go to bless you, and then later you will get other communications. As he goes around to bless, the choir will intone some appropriate song. But don't think I can do it on a lot of time. Be seated. We are going to introduce the bishops, the chairman of the conference. We'll introduce all of the bishops present. Introduce the bishops. Your Lordship, the new Bishop of Cotido, Bishop Dominic Eibu, congratulations and wish you all the best. I, should have so, I, I could have spoken longer than that, but our message is in the booklet, and I shouldn't repeat what we have already said, and because of time, that is our message. We congratulate the people of Cotido upon having a new shepherd, Bishop Dominic Eibu. In the same vein, we want to thank wholeheartedly Bishop Giuseppe Filippi for the wonderful work you have done since 2009 when you were made Bishop of this diocese. Thank you, thank you very much for the wonderful work you have done. I would like to thank all the bishops and the people from outside Cotido Diocese. Thank you for having graced this moment and having come. Thank you, thank you very much. Your Excellency, the Vice President, we thank you for the heartily. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for praying with us and for the contribution from the government. We thank you very, very much. To you, the people of Cotido, we wish you all the best from the new administration uh, run by the new bishop, Bishop Dominic Eibu. Lastly, uh, we thank you for having uh, waited for us. It was not our intention to delay you, but you know, with these machines which fly in the space, you cannot fly anyhow. You have to be cleared by the authorities in order to come. So we had to wait until everything was okay, and I think we are very fast, and we arrived at that time. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> lastly, and lastly, I would like to introduce to you uh, the bishops who have graced this moment, this occasion, and these are first 
and uh, His Grace the Nuncio to Uganda, Archbishop Luigi Bianco. <clears throat> Allow me to go province by province. In this, in the diocese from the Ecclesiastical Province of Gulu, we have His Grace John Baptist Odama, the Archbishop of Gulu. We have uh, Bishop Sanctus Lino Wanok, Bishop of Lila Diocese. He is also the Vice Chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference. Uh, we have also Bishop Raphael Wokorach, Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Nebi. <laughs> Kampala, Ecclesiastical Province, we have uh, His Grace, Paul Semogerere, the Archbishop of Kampala. <laughs> we have Right Reverend Matthias Sekamanya, Bishop Emeritus of Lugazi. <laughs> and the speaker, Bishop Joseph Anton Iziwa, Bishop of uh, Kinda Mitiana Diocese and Chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference. <laughs> From Umbarara, Ecclesiastical Province, we have Archbishop Lambert Bainom Gisha, Archbishop of Umbarara. <laughs> then we have Bishop Vicente Kirabo, Bishop of Hoima Diocese. <laughs> Bishop Aquinas Francis Chibira, Bishop of Kasese Diocese. <laughs> Bishop Calistus Rubaramira, Bishop of Kavale Diocese. <laughs> and this very province of Tororo, Archbishop Emmanuel Obo, Archbishop of Tororo, Archdiocese. <laughs> then Bishop Joseph Oriach Echiru, Bishop of Soroti. <laughs> Bishop Damiano Gusetti, Bishop of Moroto Diocese. <laughs> Bishop Giuseppe Filippi, Bishop Emeritus of Cotido. And I think with a thunderous clap, we welcome the new bishop in this new, this Ecclesiastical province, Right Reverend Dominic Eibu. Yeah. New bishop of Cotido Diocese. And with us is Monsignor John Baptist Kawuta, the Secretary General of the Uganda Episcopal Conference. We have visiting bishops from outside Uganda, Bishop Matthew Remigio, Bishop of Wow. And Bishop Claudio Rurati, Bishop of Alexandria, Egypt. So your Lordship, Bishop Eibu, uh, our brother bishops from Uganda were unable to come, but we have represented them. I want to emphasize what I said in our message, friends of Uganda, our presence here is a sign that we welcome you very warmly, and we are waiting for those many talents you have, today for the first time we have heard in our liturgy the word of God read in Arabic and many other gifts. Thank you very much and wish you good celebration today, tomorrow and uh, in the month of March we are, having, um, uh, we are having a study course as bishops in Zambia. Yeah. We have already registered you and we, I mean, thank you very much and God bless you. Brothers and sisters, allow us to leave you, but because of uh, the reasons you know, we have to fly out from here by 3.15. By 3.15, we are told. Thank you very much and wish you all the best and a good celebration.
So now the new bishop of Cotido will bless you. The Guinea Episcopal Ao episcopio nga kumaya magneta nagtet. Tatena ka. Please stand up. Those priests who are in a hurry, please you follow the bishops who have just left. You hand over the chessables, the responsible in the room where you vested from.
Requesting to see one of this area to come and just in one minute welcome the people. The LC1 of this cell, please come and welcome the people in one minute. You're talking to LC1, okay? Pay a lot of Pukatanege, Bukijang Payok. Is the healthy one around? Thank you for the bishop. Thank you, Mr. Excellency, the vice president around, and whole people who have come to celebrate this day. I welcome you here in this world of law coaching. Feel free. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you, everyone, for taking three seconds. Thank you very much. to come and say something briefly. The Justicing Committee. The chairperson of the Central Organizing Committee, Father Samuel, come and say something.
Member leader is making a Members of the Central Organizing Committee, I can see the Haradi is coming. Inspired us by your angelic voices, 
and let us pray to us today. Our dear choir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bishop Dominic in his souvenir quotes Isaiah 40 verses 1. Console my people. Music carries an important evangelizing message. That gives consolation to the many empty souls seeking and desiring to meet the Lord. To the Mongolian Mission family, I thank you for keeping the spirit and dream of St. Daniel of body and life to serve Africa with Africans. We thank you for your long presence and commitment in the work of evangelization in Cambodia. We are indebted to other missionary institutions or organizations working in Karamoja for your spiritual and material growth among the Karamoja people. Although the colonial government termed the Karamoja as a difficult people, a stereotype recorded by the pioneer missionaries, we know a lot has changed and I tend to believe that your long presence and daily decades of evangelization has contributed a lot in softening the situation and raising leaders at all levels of the Karmajong society. God appointed prophets to guide, console, and give people to his people, give hope to his people during difficult situations. Leadership, therefore, stands as a symbol of hope and consolation. May the good Lord, through his servant, Bishop Dominic Eibu, be a visible sign of hope and consolation towards the advent of a new world of peace, harmony, and coexistence in continual houses. God bless everyone. Now is the time for bringing gifts. I'm seeing people moving. Please don't take your gifts away. Bring your gifts to the bishop. I wish to acknowledge a contribution from Guru Archdiocese of one million and one bull. The priests of Tororo Archdiocese have also contributed one million. We have it in the cash, not in the check form. Now, we shall ask the bishop to sit in front here and receive the gifts. Okay, the people of Soroti, those who are going to Soroti, please bring your gifts. Soroti. Eto ma kere la te kere lo soroti. Soroti, bring your gifts. Please don't go without eating. Please don't go, don't go. In Jehuti, you are the president of Agro. And Tamara will be young, Tamara will be young. You are the president of Agro. You are the president of Agro. You are the president of Agro. Maybe the 
Dennis is uh, has sent to 500,000 here. Thank you very much. We are poor. The Ashes, please come here and help the bishop receive the gifts. The people of Tororo, Tororo. Those of Tororo, please. Tororo, Tororo, if they are people from Tororo, I bring your gifts. We are beginning with those who are fat. Then of course Sudan. The people of Morocco, Morocco, if the road is not there, let us go and roll now. Morocco. Microphone 
to our honourable member of parliament, uh, Margaret Lefer, to carry on with the protocol of inviting her. Your Excellency, Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, Honorable Lopotes Kaepe, Ministers present, my colleagues, members of Parliament, the Chairperson of Uganda Episcopal Conference, Apostolic Social to Uganda, our brand new Bishop, Representative of the Komboni family, Bishop Emeritus Philip Gifu, our bishops and entire clergy, Bishop Emeritus, North Karamoja, Nasak James, all religious leaders, district leaders, security committee, central organizing committee, all Christians present. I'm Aleperima Vekachila, Uman MP Kotido. Your Excellency, on behalf of the people of Kotido, we warmly welcome you to Kotido and to this very important event. We come to Matara Magnea and Kotere, Kakayona to take place in Makar and Yanago Banugu, Nuyo, it is called of the day. The latter are no way. In the interest of time, I want to invite members of parliament just to come and mention their names and wave to their people. Members of parliament present, stay forward. A member of parliament, Usu County, Katakui. A chairperson, Degweki Teso Parliamentary Group. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, the Minister's presence, colleagues, Araya Gakero Batom Ben Korea. Araya MP Molado Doz West Karenga District. Aloka Ramaja Parliamentary Group Araya Publicity. Toye Kapolon Nenikuz. Eran Karora Lukwang Ilari. MP E County Kabong District. Alakara Noi. Excellency, all protocol of sound. Araya Kero, Honorable Ismail Mohamed Omar, MP Log Tuarte de la Golangatena, Rapid Municipality. Again, you are the Dada. Matang de Kaku, Yaka Kero, Mul Emmanuel Nataya, MP Mara Loki de Nere, that's Kabong District, Alakara Noi. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda. My member of Parliament representing the people of the North in Kabong District. Thank you, Mr. Kabong District. No way, I 
Ich gehe da danke dir und äh, Exzellenz der Vice President, dir und Exzellenz der Governor, Ola Turkana County ist hier mit uns. You will see him. And then this man left something small. Yende da kabata na Ola Bogo Betikwana. This is the son of Betikwana. He's a member of Parliament. So he said he should come to Kotchen, but also to greet you, Alagara. Alakara Nowoy, I request you to go and greet the new brand bishop before you get to your seats. So I will also ask the members of parliament who have gifts to take at this time and present to the bishop. Your Excellency, allow me to recognize the delegation from Kenya led by the governor Rapotikan. Lagara no one is coming to Karamoja. Allow me also to recognize the RDCs present. Stand up and wave to the Vice President. RDCs. Allow me also to recognize the District SC5 Chairperson present. Allow me also recognize the chief administrator present. Wave to the president. Atalakari is the Christian Angle Poncha La Kapong Karenga Abi Loyoro Moroto Kotito Soroti Pala Kampala Klagara Porag Nubunum Agba Nugu. Una wakne episcopi lok tete na pi akriki wone eke yokon alagara no way. Allow me invite the minister of state ethics integrity, Honorable Akel Rose Lily Umana MP Karenga, to come and greet you and invite the vice president. Welcome. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, retired Major Alupo Jessica Epel, His Excellency, the Governor of Turkana, His Excellency, the Nuncio, Your Graces, Your Lordships, Religion men and women of God. All Karmo Jong Matang Jie Matang Doso Matang Tunga Kaukuj Matang Tunga Lote Bur Matang Yangya Matang Porein Mata kex la kuj. Mata ngasbane yoko piso piyango lo kitete. Kikare kizro be de mano lo piso piyo. Your Excellency, I know we have a very limited time. I would request that I invite the Minister of State for Disaster, my sister Esther Nyakun to come and introduce herself officially as the wife of, of the people of Nigeria. Honorable Esther, you are welcome.
ala karan boy ngado banno atamari adata bien o ya kauna banani ra re boring ni apolon to malo reo na pana loko tido so e katala kartia de no boy anya re mame tengi da e anya ra uniang chala ya wa ko de gift le on ta da la kal ko di ya ra ngarin ala kara thank you ala kara la kara esta your excellency I know we don't have time. Your powers, Your Excellency, if you would just give a minute to the governor of Turkana to greet the people of Karamoja, because that is how peace is brought. Thank you, Your Excellency, for giving us that minute. And let it be a minute. Thank you. Uh, I will take less than a minute. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the entire clergy, I'm called Jeremiah Kamaisul Morkai, the new governor of Turkana County. I want to take this opportunity and to appreciate him for accepting to become the new bishop for Quotido. Secondly, I want to also want to recognize the uh, Excellency, the Deputy President of the Government of Uganda, for also to this very important uh, session. May God bless the people of Kutu. May God bless Atakel. And may God bless the people of Trukana also. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Governor, for taking lesser than a minute. Your Excellency, for us in Karamoja, we were about to miss a step. When our dear Bishop, Brian New from the Cavera, is here with us, we needed first traditionally to show that he has been initiated fully to the Karamoja culture and to the church. So Your Excellency, we want to invite the lay women of Kotido Diocese to come forward to bring those items. And as well as you, Your Excellency, we need to, to dress you before you address the nation. Thank you. The lay women, can you, and we request the choir to give us a nice song, please. Yes. I think I'm done. As we are waiting for the lay women to bring the gifts, Your Excellency, allow me also to recognize the delegation from Egypt where our new bishop was serving. Those are lay women from Cotido Catholic Diocese. Okay. Okay. Mm. So the lay women have brought gifts in addition to the sheets that will be used for dressing the new bishop, initiating him into a Karamoja attire. I hope the vice president
Bishop Damiano, Bishop Damiano of Maroto. Bishop Damian of Maroto.
Now the apostolic means uh, is going to greet us. He's uh, about to leave. Yes. The apostolic means is going to greet us. Let us pass uh, wait. and sisters in Christ, his apostolic nuncio, representative of his holiness of Francis in Uganda, it is my pleasure to greet all of you. And I specifically transmit the greetings and the apostolic blessing of his holiness of the Pope. Pledge of abundant graces, I would like to greet the civil authorities the President, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, the Bishops, the clergy, the religious, and all the people of the Diocese of Cotito. I would like to congratulate the new Bishop, Dominic A. Boom, for the appointment to be the Shepherd of this Diocese, and to present my best wishes for a fruitful ministry in this local church. In the name of the Holy See, I would like also to express greeting thanks to the Emeritus Bishop in his fellowship, Giuseppe Filippi, for his generous service in this diocese. The first Day, 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 is the world day, day of peace. peace. And every day there is an important message of the Holy Father. I would like to read my son words in the beginning of this message. message. When tragic events seem to overwhelm our lives and we feel plunged into a dark and difficult millstrom and in, of injustice and suffering, we are likewise called to keep our hearts open to hope and to trust in God, who makes himself present, accompanies us with tenderness, sustains us in our weariness, and above all, guides our path. For this reason, St. Paul constantly Exhort the community to be vigilant, vigilant seeking, seeking goodness, goodness justice, justice, and truth. So, so let, let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. His words are an invitation to remain alert and to not, and not to be drawn into fear, sorrow, or resignation or to yield to distraction or discouragement. Instead, we should be like sentinels, keeping watch and ready to glimpse the first light of dawn even at the darkest hour. Many blessings and best wishes in the beginning of the new year to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, the Apostolic Nuncio, for your message. Send our greetings to the Holy Father. Before I hand over the mic to the Minister of State for Ethics and Integrity, the women who came here the said they have got a name for the bishop is supposed to be Lokut Okwa because this is a dry season. And then for the Vice President Napeyok, visitor. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, my colleague. Uh, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, it is my honor now to invite you to come and speak to your people and give the message of his 
give the message of the President of the Republic of this country. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Madam. Your Excellency Luigi Bianco, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Emmanuel Bishop of Toro Archdiocese, who was also the chief of the Lord Bishops present, youngest and the newest Bishop, right Reverend Dominic, all the clergy. And dignitary is present. And on the civil side, Minister of State for Disaster, Preparedness, Honorable Anyakun, and the Minister of State for Ethics and Integrity, Honorable Akelo Roslili, Excellency Jeremiah Ekamais, Moruna of Turkana. Kenya, the honorable members of parliament present, the other deceased present, and present, the town mayor and all other local leaders present in your different capacities. Mata, Mata Christo. Matangi Karimojong. Matangi. Matangi Doso. Matangi Tobur. Matakir. Matangi Tunga Kakuj. Mataki Ekisil. Mata Kangasuban ke Bishop Angoli Kete. Lord Bishop, I have come here as one of the locals of this place, but I have also been delegated to deliver the message of His Excellency. Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency General Yoweri Kaputa Museveni, to you and to members of the congregation. Atakere Emalas Aneka, a President Yok Yoweri Kaputa Museveni. Emalas Anenika Totoyok, Mama Janet Kataha Museveni. I am going to read the message which is written in English to you, Lord Bishop, and it goes as follows. I want to thank the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for appointing Reverend Father Dominic Eibu to shepherd Otido Catholic Diocese. I join all the faithful of Kotido Diocese in welcoming a new bishop to shepherd and serve your diocese. I congratulate the newly consecrated bishop, the Right Reverend Father Dominic Eibu, upon his consecration and assumption of the new responsibility to lead Kotido Catholic Diocese. I would like to appreciate your predecessor, retired Bishop Gusip Filippi, for his commendable and selfless service to Kotido Diocese and the entire Karamoja
charge. The Catholic Church is built upon a foundation of solid and visionary leadership. The election of Reverend Father Dominic Eibu as Bishop of Cotido Catholic Diocese is a great testimony to his tested and selfless service to God and the Catholic Church. As you ascend to this high position of responsibility, I pray that the Almighty God grants you the wisdom and courage to steer the diocese forward with vision, integrity, and humility. I believe that the Almighty God who chose you to carry the responsibility of shepherding his church at this particular time has prepared you to fulfill your mandate. I commend the Catholic Church for maintaining a cordial relationship and partnership with the NRM government in working towards the social economic transformation of the Ugandan society. The church has exploited the private sector friendly policies of the NRM government to extend social services to the public. For instance, faith-based institutions have constructed a number of schools and hospitals across the country. This is proof of their concern for the material and physical well-being of their followers. It is important to emphasize to believers that in addition to seeking spiritual nourishment from the places of worship, they should also participate in income generating activities to sustain their households. All believers should take the example of Jesus Christ, who besides feeding the hungry, preaching and healing the sick, was also a carpenter. Papate among Christian believers should be viewed as an affliction that must be cast out of the home.
Are you a regular user of the expressway? Payments for your Upesi card just got easier with Airtel money at the toll gate. Simply follow the steps below. Dial star 185 hash. Select option 4, pay bill. Pay bill select option 10, Umra toll. Select card type 1 for easy pass or 2 for frequent user. For easy pass or wallet, enter Upesi card number. Enter minimum amount of 20,000 Uganda shillings. Confirm transaction details. Enter PIN. You will receive a confirmation message. For frequent user, choose weekly or monthly where 35,000 Uganda shillings is for weekly and 90,000 Uganda shillings is for monthly. Enter Upesi card number. Confirm transaction details. Enter PIN and you will receive a confirmation message. Airtel Money. Instant, secure, borderless. Did you know that 10 weeks from conception, a baby in the...